Your draw rein is generally on top, which is this rein that goes through and then it goes back to the horse. And so when you pull, it's pulling the horse's nose in. This gag rein lifts, it lifts the bit, so therefore it lifts the pressure to lift their head. So what I was saying is, and there's several different ways to hold your reins, and I'm going to show them to you in a second and show you how each one works. But most people, which is the way most of the Argentines play, play with their, their top rein, the gag rein, right here laying on their finger, and the second rein going through these two fingers. So you got to like this. This is very simple, but it's also very important that you have your rein straight because when you pull, Robin, could you just hold right here for a second? Because I want to show something. This is really important as well. My reins are even, everything's even, but if I pull like this, because I'm pulling to the left, I'm putting more pressure on the right side, and so it tends to pull a horse's nose to the right because there's more pressure there. So you just want to make sure that you're, you know, making your changes evenly because a lot of people just go like this and they're tighter on this side and so they pull their nose to that side. Now anyway, to go back to what we were talking about. So when I'm playing and I say in this horse I want, I want its nose to come in first, I'll play with my draw rein that much, sometimes less, sometimes more, just depends on what I want. But this way my draw rein engages first because I personally want their nose to come in and then by, by the time that this hits, if it does hit, they've stopped and we've made our play and we've gone on. Now, if I have a horse that over flexes, as I said before, puts its head down, I'll switch and put my gag rein on top and my draw rein below. And so this way I'm pulling up first and then I've got my draw rein will engage if I needed to. Now here's the other thing about both of these things. When you're playing and you got your mallet, and you're not exactly in the play, you can always help a horse. Like if you have one that perhaps doesn't go as well to the right and you're playing like this, you can just reach down and just go like that so that you're pulling the right rein and pointing their nose. A horse has to follow their nose. Or if you want to go to the left, the left's a little bit harder, but it's not bad. I actually go under and I can do the same thing. All I'm doing is just pointing it and then they go. Um, but basically what I was saying about gag rein is you can play like this. Now, there's another way of holding your reins. I'm giving you the most popular ones, which is basically where instead of holding your hand like this, you're holding your hand like this, which oftentimes helps if you're trying to point a horse's nose. You can turn like that, you can turn like that. I personally don't like it because the reins come on my right side. And that's, you know, it seems like they're in their way and anything distracts me like that. I mean, I can't ever have a keeper out, anything flapping because it distracts me and I want to be concentrating. But if I'm playing a difficult horse, I play them like this because I can stop with two hands. So, you know, for a lot of people it will work. And the, the way to sort of, you know, get over the part that I don't like is to cut your, have your reins cut down so they're not flapping down here and getting caught in your boot and, you know, in your leg and pissing you off while you're playing, which is what happens to me. And I do do this with some, but not that much. Um, but the, the best part of this thing is, is that I think you can control a stronger horse this way because it's very easy to grab these reins. And so now I'm pulling with two hands instead of one hand. The, the first way that I showed you, I mean, you can still do it, but also, I'm much stronger like this than I am like this. And I think everybody is. I think that's normal. So the third way, which is really the way that I learned, was you put your hand through the draw rein and down through your two fingers like that. And this rein comes across to the left. This rein goes to the right. And so what this did was, with the younger horse, a lot of times you have to adjust and help and do different things to kind of help them out. I knew my draw rein was on this side, so I could, you know, go with the draw rein, or I could reach down and grab my gag rein. I don't think anybody plays like this anymore. I'd say the one of the two that are the easiest, this is probably the most common, easiest way to hold your reins. If you've got a made horse and it plays well and you don't have to do much, just, just play them like that. It's simple, it's not hard. 
just make sure and keep them even because if I got them tight on this side, it won't, you won't show because we don't have a horse, but if their head's cocked, or if you guys have one of your horse's heads that's cocked, maybe look down and see if your reins are straight. And then the other way, if you got a stronger horse that needs a bit more strength to control on the field, do it the other way so that you can use this second hand to stop and you can also turn, like when I want to point their nose, I turn my hand so that this, gauge, this side engages before this side or the opposite way too.